Always alerting, always tracking. This is Next Weather. And now our own Hall of Famer, Ivan Cabrera, is here. <laughs> you know, it's interesting. I remember when my toys started showing up in the Hall of Fame. That's when you know. You've been around a bit. Has, uh, <laughs> Absolutely. Right. All right, we check in on Next Weather Radar Network here as we talk about a quiet evening here in South Florida. No issues uh, going on. This is the setup for tomorrow. We're going to get this little boundary that comes in. You won't notice it. It's moisture start. It's not going to bring us much in the way of any shower activity except for a few sprinkles here and there. We'll turn breezy tomorrow. You'll notice that. Absolutely. And then we get a second front that comes in Friday and that's going to set up uh, the nice uh, drop for the weekend as far as the temperatures. When you drop both the temperature and the humidity, it makes a difference here. So it's going to be refreshing as you wake up early on Saturday and Sunday and even in the afternoon, low 80s with that low humidity. There's that first dip and then we get the other one coming in for the weekend. That's when I think Saturday morning we will wake up to 60s, which is something we haven't felt in a while. There's the bump as far as the winds for tomorrow and then we drop back down. So it's not going to be a multi day event as far as the wind speeds anyway. Anyway, in the tropics, of course, we're monitoring tropical wave in Vest area. Now this is 99 L, so it's at X South of Jamaica. You can see the thunderstorms there that just continue to blow up. It's just there's no organization yet. That's going to begin to change over the next few days. We're already seeing a broad area of low pressure developing, and then we're going to get a more compact area of low pressure. So when you look at conditions that are favorable for development, you look at water temperatures, 90 degree water temperature, and not just at the surface, but deep as well. So this is fuel for this thing to really get going the next few days. Another thing we look at is well, our winds in the upper levels of the atmosphere are going to interrupt its development. Not in the next few days. There's nothing here. So conditions are perfect. Now, once you get north of Cuba, plenty of wind shear, and that's going to be the big question when this thing moves towards the west. You can see the computer models are already beginning to get that northern turn by the time we get into early next week. So this would be something that could potentially impact us by late next week. I just don't know how it is going to impact us. What intensity? how much rainfall as far as the wind. This is a great scenario from the European. It crashes into Yucatan, weakens significantly, and then it gets lifted up uh, and just sheared apart here heading into the weekend. So that would be great if those trends continue. But the American model is pushing this through uh, between Yucatan and Cuba, and that will allow it to maintain its strength. So that is a key that we're looking for the next few days, and we'll be able to pinpoint that and uh, know exactly what's headed in our direction for next week. Rip currents on the high side. That's just the winds increasing, so be careful if you're going to be on the beach tomorrow or in the water. The flags are going to be flying there with temperatures in the 80s. We'll continue with that through the end of the week. There's that nice dip in temperatures in the 60s. We'll take it low 80s for the upcoming weekend.